The Waltons is a television series that aired from 1972 to 1981 and is still beloved by many today. The show tells the story of a family living in rural Virginia during the Great Depression and World War II, and it is known for its heartwarming and wholesome portrayal of family life. One reason why The Waltons is so popular is because it is relatable to many people. The struggles and triumphs of the Walton family are universal, and viewers can see themselves in the characters and their experiences. The show is also known for its strong and well-developed characters, who are played by talented actors and actresses. Some of the most well-known actors and actresses who played roles in the Waltons include Richard Thomas, who played John Boy Walton, the family's eldest son and aspiring writer Michael Learned, who played Olivia Walton, the family's matriarch, and Ralph Waite, who played John Walton, the family's patriarch. If you are a fan of the Waltons, you may have fond memories of watching the show with your family or friends. Perhaps you remember the feeling of warmth and comfort that the show brought, or the lessons that it taught you about the importance of family, hard work, and perseverance. In conclusion, The Waltons is a timeless television series that continues to capture the hearts of viewers today. Its relatable characters, heartwarming storylines, and talented cast are just a few of the reasons why the show is so beloved. If you haven't seen it yet, it's definitely worth checking out. The departure of John Ritter from the Waltons after the 1975-76 season was a significant moment in the show's history. Ritter had played the role of Reverend Matthew Fordwick, a kind and compassionate minister who often offered words of wisdom to the Walton family. His departure left a void in the show, and many fans were disappointed to see him go. However, Ritter's departure was not entirely unexpected. The actor had been offered the lead role in the sitcom Three's Company, which was set to premiere in the fall of 1976. The show would go on to become a huge success and launch Ritter's career to new heights. In an interview years later, Ritter reflected on his decision to leave the Waltons for Three's Company, saying that his only regret was leaving his role as Reverend Fordwick. He praised the show for its quality and the talented cast and crew who made it possible. Despite Ritter's departure, The Waltons continued to be a beloved and successful show. It would go on to run for several more seasons and become a cultural touchstone for many viewers. Ritter's legacy on the show remains, and his portrayal of Reverend Fordwick is still remembered fondly by fans. In conclusion, John Ritter's departure from The Waltons was a bittersweet moment in the show's history. While fans were disappointed to see him go, his decision to take on the lead role in Three's Company would ultimately lead to great success for the actor. Ritter's legacy on the Waltons remains, and his portrayal of Reverend Fordwick is still cherished by viewers today. When the Waltons premiered on CBS in 1972, it faced a tough competition against two of the most popular shows of the time. Despite the odds, the family drama set in rural Virginia captured the hearts of millions of viewers across the country, and quickly became a ratings success. What made the Waltons stand out was its portrayal of a close-knit family, living in a simpler time and facing the challenges of life with optimism and resilience. Set during the Great Depression and World War II, the show dealt with themes of poverty, prejudice, loss, and love, and offered a hopeful vision of the American dream. The cast of The Waltons was also a big part of its appeal. Led by the veteran actor Ralph Wade as John Walton SR, the show featured a talented ensemble of actors who brought the characters to life with warmth and authenticity. From Richard Thomas as John Boy, the aspiring writer, and the show's narrator, to Ellen Corby as Grandma Walton, the matriarch of the family, every member of the cast added to the show's charm and emotional depth. The success of The Waltons was a surprise to many, especially to the CBS executives who had previously thought that rural-themed shows were no longer in vogue. The cancellation of popular shows like The Beverly Hillbillies and Green Acres was a clear sign of their new direction. However, The Waltons proved them wrong and showed that audiences still appreciated stories that celebrated family values, resilience, and community. Looking back, The Waltons remains a beloved classic that has inspired generations of viewers with its message of hope and love. 
Its influence can be seen in many contemporary TV shows that have followed its footsteps, including Gilmore Girls, Friday Night Lights, and This Is Us. In conclusion, The Waltons is a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of family dramas that touch the hearts of audiences. Despite the challenges it faced at the time, it managed to become a cultural phenomenon and a beloved classic that still resonates with viewers today. The Waltons, a beloved American television series that aired from 1972 to 1981, is a show that holds a special place in the hearts of many. The series, set in the 1930s and 1940s, tells the story of the Walton family and their struggles during the Great Depression and World War II. One of the most iconic aspects of the show was the Walton family home which served as the backdrop for many memorable scenes. The Walton House was actually located on the northern section of the jungle area of Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank. Although the house was a set, it became so ingrained in the public consciousness that many people thought it was a real house. Walton's Mountain, which could be seen from the house's front porch, was actually a slope of the Hollywood Hills directly south of the Warner Bros. Studios. The interiors of the house were filmed on Stage 26, which was a soundstage on the Warner Bros. lot. The set was meticulously designed to replicate the look and feel of a real house from the 1930s and 1940s, and it featured authentic furniture, appliances, and decor from the era. Interestingly, the roadway leading to the Walton House through the remaining portion of the jungle still existed in 2003 and is visible during the studio tour, although Ike Godsey's store has long since disappeared. The house had been dismantled a few years before to make way for a parking lot, but it was moved to the Warner Bros. Ranch lot at Hollywood Way in Verdugo Avenue, where it still functions as a workable exterior set. In a fun bit of trivia, fans of the show Gilmore Girls may notice that the old dragonfly and that Lorelai and Sookie purchase and then renovate as the exterior of the Walton House. This is also stated in the trivia section for Gilmore Girls here on IMDb. Come. The enduring popularity of the Waltons is a testament to the show's timeless themes of family, community, and resilience in the face of adversity. And the fact that the Walton House still stands today, even if it's just a set, is a testament to the enduring legacy of the show and its importance in American popular culture. The Waltons, a beloved television series that premiered in 1972, captured the hearts of audiences with its heartwarming portrayal of a large family living in rural Virginia during the Great Depression and World War II. One of the show's most beloved characters was John Boy Walton, the eldest son of the Walton family and the show's narrator. Richard Thomas played the role of John Boy for the first five seasons, but after he left the show, Robert Whiteman took over the role. However, despite the fact that Robert Whiteman played John Boy for three seasons, he never attended any of the Walton reunions. This fact is surprising to many fans of the show, as the Waltons cast and crew often reunited for various events, including the popular Waltons Mountain Museum in Shiler, Virginia. While it is unclear why Whiteman never attended any of these events, it is possible that he simply had other commitments or was not interested in participating in the reunions. Another interesting tidbit about the Waltons is that Michael learned, who played the matriarch of the family, Olivia Walton, left the show after the sixth season. One of the major reasons she quit was reportedly because she was uncomfortable with another actor replacing Richard Thomas as John Boy. In an interview with the Archive of American Television, Learn said, I had a terrible time with the second John Boy. I thought, this is not my show anymore. Despite the challenges that the show faced with casting changes, The Waltons remained a beloved television series that continues to be celebrated today. Its heartwarming portrayal of family, community, and resilience in the face of adversity continues to resonate with audiences around the world. Whether you are a lifelong fan of the show or have yet to discover its charm, The Waltons is a television series that is sure to warm your heart and leave you feeling uplifted. The Waltons was a beloved American television series that premiered in 1972 and ran for nine seasons. The show chronicled the lives of the Walton family in rural Virginia during the Great Depression and World War II. One of the show's most beloved characters was Grandma Walton, played by Ellen Corby. Unfortunately, in 1976, Ellen Corby suffered a stroke that temporarily forced her to leave the series. It was a devastating blow not just for the show but for her fans who had grown to love her character. 
Corby herself thought that she would never act again and that her time on the show was over. However, her castmates and crew rallied around her, offering her support and encouragement as she went through her recovery. Miraculously, Corby did return to the show, and her character continued to be an integral part of the series until its end. However, some viewers wondered if her later appearances were straining her health, or were only to boost falling ratings. It was a valid concern, as the entertainment industry has a history of exploiting actors, and putting their health at risk in the name of ratings and profit. Despite these concerns, Corby's castmates always asserted that she enjoyed being back on set and the work helped her to recover. Her return to the show was a testament to her resilience and determination, and it showed that even in the face of adversity, she was able to overcome and continue doing what she loved. In the end, Ellen Corby's return to the Waltons was a triumphant moment, not just for her but for the entire cast and crew of the show. It showed that even when things seem bleak, there is always hope for recovery and a return to normalcy. It also demonstrated the power of community and support in helping people through difficult times. Ellen Corby may have been temporarily sidelined, but her return to the series proved that she was a true survivor.